Now that you've got a new computer, you would like to go ahead and sell or give away or donate your old one to charity. However, you're worried that your information on there may be stolen if, if uh, in the wrong hands. So what is the best way to handle the old data that is on a computer that you no longer need? Let's talk about that next on this edition of the Guru Brew. Hang tight. So to understand ways to protect our data from being in the wrong hands once a computer is passed to a different party, we must first understand what parts of the computer hold our data. This is a hard drive that came out of a desktop computer, much like this one. Uh, this is a pretty standard looking hard drive in its size and shape. and. I took the screws out of this one to give you a look at what's inside. This disc is called a platter and it spins and as it spins this arm goes back and forth and it reads and writes our data. And a laptop hard drive is very much the same inside except it's built about half as small as this. This hard drive holds all our data, including the operating system and all files that make the computer run. So once this mechanism, the hard drive, is no longer present from a machine or laptop, it no longer um, contains any personal data that could be on the machine. Besides the obvious ways of taking out a hard drive and drilling holes straight through it or throwing it in a fire or smashing it with a sledgehammer, there are some software methods that we can use. Let's talk about those. With Windows Vista and upward, as in Windows 7 and 8, there are now utilities on the installation disk that came with your machine that allow you to write ones and zeros to the disk so that the disk can no longer be used. Um, people seem to think that if you throw something in the trash bin in Windows and then you empty your trash that it's no longer there and the data is completely gone. Well this simply is not true. The only thing that throwing away the trash and deleting the file does is it removes it from the table of contents. But the data is still residing on the drive until more space is needed and it eventually gets rewritten over the top. So the safest way, um, software wise, to delete a hard drive is to write ones and zeros to the entire drive and completely mask um, the entire drive so there's no chance of um, data being taken. Um, so find your installation disk and then follow the prompts and then it'll get you through it. If you have an older PC that is a Windows XP or sooner, um, there are some free software alternatives out there on the web for you. However, um, the problem is, is you cannot um, run a, a utility at the same time as deleting itself. So this is be best left to a professional repair shop. And if you trust um, someone um, that will take in the computer as trade for deleting it and you trust that person that's probably the easiest way to do otherwise I would probably take an XP or younger and remove it from the case and actually drill a hole with a drill bit right on down through it. Do keep in mind that whatever method you choose if you were to drill a hole down through the hard drive itself or you used a utility that writes ones and zeros to all partitions on the hard drive it will still be missing its operating system and if you do not have the installation disk the hard drive and the computer will no longer be any good without that anyway and the size of XP and younger 
hard drives are so small um, before terabits came in on the Windows 7 and above that it's really not worth saving anyway. So I hope that uh, you can make a decision with some of the tips I've given you here today. There's no clear answer what to do. Um, you just have to uh, weigh the differences. If it's a newer computer, it's probably worth having a repair shop uh, clean it off for you. If it is an older one, um, I would physically run a drill bit through it and then send it to the scrap. So have yourself a good day and uh, any questions, put them in the comments below and we'll get to them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.